Washington, D.C. has been the federal capital city of the United States since 1790. Each U.S. state has its own capital city, as do many of its insular areas. Historically, most states have not changed their capital city since becoming a state, but the capital cities of their respective preceding colonies, territories, kingdoms, and republics typically changed multiple times. There have also been other governments within the current borders of the United States with their own capitals, such as the Republic of Texas, Native American nations, and other unrecognized governments. Topic: <laughs> Capitals of the United States. The Albany Conference, June 18 to July 11, 1754, or the Conference of Albany was the first meeting at which representatives of British colonies in North America seven of them gathered to discuss questions of common interest. It met in the Stadt Highs, the City Hall of Albany, New York demolished after a fire in 1836. The original purpose of the conference was to coordinate relations with the Indians and common defensive measures against the French threat from Canada see French and Indian War hashtag Albany Conference. At that meeting the major topic of discussion, however, was the Albany Plan, presented by Benjamin Franklin, delegate from Pennsylvania, setting up a unified though not independent, government for the colonies. Although the delegates approved the plan after modifications unanimously, it was not approved by any of the territorial governments, or by the British government. It was used later in the drafting of the Articles of Confederation. The Stamp Act Congress October 7-25, 1765, or First Congress of the American Colonies, met in City Hall, today Federal Hall, in New York City. The Continental Congress, later called the First Continental Congress September 5 to October 26, 1774, embryo of what would become the United States government, met in Carpenters Hall in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, today 2018, part of Independence National Historical Park. Delegate Joseph Galloway presented the Galloway Plan for a unified government, incorporating some elements of the Albany Plan, but it was not accepted. The Second Continental Congress 1775 in which the U.S. Declaration of Independence was debated and signed, and which starting in 1775 coordinated the American Revolutionary War, met primarily in the Pennsylvania State House, today Independence Hall, in Independence National Historic Park. The room as it was then is accurately depicted in the famous painting Declaration of Independence by John Trumbull, commissioned by Congress, which has hung in the U.S. Capitol Rotunda since 1825. The Articles of Confederation, though drafted in York, Pennsylvania, were adopted in Philadelphia in 1777, subject to the state's approval. The Second Continental Congress also met briefly in the following locations. Henry Fight House, Baltimore, Maryland, December 20, 1776 to February 27, 1777, to avoid capture by British forces. The building was destroyed by fire in 1904. Court House, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, September 27, 1777, one day. Court House, York, Pennsylvania, September 30, 1777 to June 2, 1778. College Hall, College of Philadelphia, July 2, 1778 to July 20, 1778. The Congress of the Confederation, 1781 to 1789, did not have an official capital. It met in the following locations: Independence Hall, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, March 1, 1781 to June 21, 1783. In 1783, Congress was forced to move from Philadelphia due to a riot of angry soldiers. See Pennsylvania Mutiny of 1783. Nassau Hall, Princeton, New Jersey, June 30, 1783 to November 4, 1783. Maryland State House, Annapolis, Maryland, November 26, 1783 to August 19, 1784. French Arms Tavern, Trenton, New Jersey, November 1, 1784 to December 24, 1784. Federal Hall, New York City, New York, January 11, 1785 to October 2, 1788 demolished in 1812. Francis Tavern, New York City, New York, October 6, 1788 to March 3, 1789. The United States Constitution addressed Article 1, Section 8, Clause 17, the need for a fixed US capital. This led to the establishment of the District of Columbia and the founding of Washington as the nation's capital. 
until the Capitol building was completed, and after it was burned by the British in 1814, requiring its rebuilding, Congress met in various places. Federal Hall, New York City, New York, March 4, 1789 to December 5, 1790. This is where George Washington was inaugurated as first president. Demolished in 1812. Congress Hall, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, adjacent to the Pennsylvania State House Independence Hall and also part of Independence National Historic Park, December 6, 1790 to May 14, 1800. Built for the purpose of being the U.S. Capitol. This is pursuant to the Residence Act of 1790, which designated Philadelphia as U.S. Capitol for ten years. United States Capitol. Territory of Columbia, November 17, 1800 to February 27, 1801, District of Columbia, February 27, 1801 to May 2, 1802, Washington, D.C., May 3, 1802 to August 24, 1814, when the British burned it. President James Madison fled to the home of Quaker Caleb Bentley, in Brookville, Maryland, where he stayed one night, August 26, 1814. As such, the town claims to have been the U.S. Capitol for a day, despite the fact that Congress never met there. Blodgett's Hotel, one of the few surviving buildings large enough to hold all members, September 19, 1814 to December 7, 1815. Old Brick Capitol, Washington, D.C., December 8, 1815 to 1819, while the original Capitol was being rebuilt. Although the name says, Old, the cornerstone was laid July 4, 1815. It was financed by Washington real estate investors, who had heard rumors that some members of Congress were considering relocation of the national capital in the aftermath of the burning. United States Capitol, Washington, D.C., 1819-to-present State capitals The dates listed in the following table indicate the year in which the city started to continuously serve as the state's sole capital. Most states have changed their capital city at least once. In the case of the 13 original states, statehood in the table refers to date of ratification of the United States Constitution. Topic: <laughs> Insular area capitals. An insular area is a United States territory that is neither a part of one of the 50 states nor a part of the District of Columbia, the nation's federal district. Those insular areas with territorial capitals are listed below. <laughs> Former national capitals <laughs> Kingdom and Republic of Hawaii Prior to becoming a territory of the United States in 1898, Hawaii was an independent country. Five sites served as its capital. Waikiki, served as the capital of the Kingdom of Hawaii, 1795-1796 Hilo. Served as the capital of the Kingdom of Hawaii, 1796-1803 Kailua Kona. Served as the capital of the Kingdom of Hawaii, 1812-1820 Lahaina. Served as the capital of the Kingdom of Hawaii, 1820-1845. Honolulu Served as the capital of the Kingdom of Hawaii, 1803-1812. Served as the capital of the Kingdom of Hawaii, 1845 January 17, 1893. Served as the seat of the Provisional Government of Hawaii after the overthrow of the Kingdom of Hawaii, January 17, 1893 – July 4, 1894. Served as the capital of the Republic of Hawaii when it was established on July 4, 1894 until the Republic was annexed by the United States on July 7, 1898 under the Newlands Resolution to become the Territory of Hawaii. On becoming a state in 1959, Honolulu became the capital of the state of Hawaii. Topic: <inaudible> Republic of Texas. Before joining the United States under the Texas annexation in 1845, Texas was an independent nation known as the Republic of Texas. 7 cities served as its capital. Washington, now Washington on the Brazos, 1836. Harrisburg now part of Houston 1836 Galveston 1836 
Velasco, 1836 West Columbia, 1836 Houston, 1837–1839 Austin, 1839–1845 also present-day capital of the state of Texas Native American capitals Some Native American tribes, in particular the five civilized tribes, organized their states with constitutions and capitals in Western style. Others, like the Iroquois, had long-standing, pre-Columbian traditions of a capital longhouse where wampum and council fires were maintained with special status. Since they did business with the U.S. federal government, these capitals can be seen as officially recognized in some sense. Topic. Cherokee Nation New Ekota 1825-1832 New Ekota, now near Calhoun, Georgia was founded in 1825, realizing the dream and plans of Cherokee Chief Major Ridge. Major Ridge chose the site because of its centrality in the historic Cherokee Nation which spanned parts of Georgia, North Carolina, Tennessee and Alabama, and because it was near the confluence of the Conasauga and Kusawati Rivers. The town's layout was partly inspired by Ridge's many visits to Washington, D.C. and to Baltimore, but also invoked traditional themes of the southeastern ceremonial complex. Complete with the Council House, Supreme Court, Cherokee Syllabary Printing Press, and the houses of several of the nation's constitutional officers, New Ekota served as the capital until 1832 when the state of Georgia outlawed Native American assembly in an attempt to undermine the nation. Thousands of Cherokee would gather in New Ekota for the annual national councils, camping along the nearby rivers and holding long stomp dances in the park-like woods that were typical of many southeastern Native American settlements. Red Clay 1832-1838 The Cherokee National Council grounds were moved to Red Clay, Tennessee on the Georgia state line in order to evade the Georgia state militia. The log cabins, limestone springs and park-like woods of Red Clay served as the capital until the Cherokee Nation was removed to Indian Territory Oklahoma, on the Trail of Tears. Tahlequah 1839-1907, 1938Present Tahlequah, in present-day Oklahoma, served as the capital of the original Cherokee Nation after removal. After the Civil War, a turbulent period for the nation which was involved in its own civil war resulting from pervasive anger and disagreements over removal from Georgia, the Cherokee Nation built a new national capital in Tahlequah out of brick. The building served as the capital until 1907, when the Dawes Act finally dissolved the Cherokee Nation and Tahlequah became the county seat of Cherokee County, Oklahoma. The Cherokee National Government was re-established in 1938 and Tahlequah remains the capital of the modern Cherokee Nation, it is also the capital of the United Kituwa Band of Cherokee Indians. Cherokee 20th century present Eastern Band of Cherokee approximately 4 to 800 Cherokees escaped removal because they lived on a separated tract, purchased later with the help of Confederate Colonel William Holland Thomas, along the Oconalufti River deep in the Smoky Mountains of North Carolina. Some Cherokees fleeing the Federal Army sent for the round up fled to the remote settlements separated from the rest of the Cherokee Territory in Georgia and North Carolina in order to remain in their homeland. In the 20th century, their descendants organized as the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians, its capital is at Cherokee, North Carolina, in the tribally controlled Kuala boundary. <laughs> Muscogee Creek Nation Hot Springs, Arkansas c. 1837 to 1866 After removal from their Alabama-Georgia homeland, the Creek National Government met near Hot Springs which was then part of their new territory as prescribed in the Treaty of Casita. However, the Union forced the Creeks to cede over three million acres half of their land of what is now Arkansas, after some Creeks fought with the Confederacy in the American Civil War. Okmulgee 1867-1906 served as the national capital after the American Civil War. It was probably named after Okmulgee, on the Okmulgee River in Macon, a principal Coosa and later Creek town built with mounds and functioning as part of the southeastern ceremonial complex. However, there were other traditional Creek mother towns before removal. The Okmulgee mounds were ceded illegally in 1821 with the Treaty of Indian Springs. Topic. Iroquois Confederacy Onondaga Onondaga Privilege c. 
1450 present the Iroquois Confederacy or Haudenosaunee, which means, "...people of the Longhouse." was an alliance between the five and later six nations of Iroquoian language and culture of upstate New York. These include the Seneca, Cayuga, Onondaga, Oneida, Mohawk, and, after 1722, the Tuscarora nations. Since the Confederacy's formation around 1450, the Onondaga nation has held privilege of hosting the Iroquois Grand Council and the status of Keepers of the Fire and the Wampum—which they still do at the official Longhouse on the Onondaga Reservation. Now spread over reservations in New York and Ontario, the Six Nations of the Haudenosaunee preserve this arrangement to this day in what they claim to be the "...world's oldest representative democracy". <inaudible> <inaudible> Seneca Nation of Indians Jimerson Town Allegheny Reservation Irving Cattaraugus Reservation The Seneca Nation Republic was founded in 1848 and has two capitals that rotate responsibilities every two years. Jimerson Town was founded in the 1960s following the formation of the Allegheny Reservoir. The Senecas also have an administrative longhouse in Steamburg but do not consider that location to be a capital. Topic. Navajo Nation Window Rock Window Rock Navajo, Sagahudzani, Arizona, is a small city that serves as the seat of government and capital of the Navajo Nation 1936 present, the largest territory of a sovereign Native American nation in North America. It lies within the boundaries of the St. Michael's Chapter, adjacent to the Arizona and New Mexico state line. Window Rock hosts the Navajo Nation Governmental Campus which contains the Navajo Nation Council, Navajo Nation Supreme Court, the offices of the Navajo Nation President and Vice President, and many Navajo government buildings. <laughs> Unrecognized national capitals There have been a handful of nations within the current borders of the United States which were never officially recognized as legally independent sovereign entities, however, these nations did have de facto control over their respective regions during their existence. <laughs> Vermont Republic Before joining the United States as the 14th state, Vermont was an independent republic known as the Vermont Republic. Two cities served as the capital of the Republic Westminster, 1777 Windsor, 1777–1791 The current capital of the state of Vermont is Montpelier. <laughs> state of Franklin The state of Franklin was an autonomous, secessionist United States territory created, not long after the end of the American Revolution, from territory that later was ceded by North Carolina to the federal government. Franklin's territory later became part of the state of Tennessee. Franklin was never officially admitted into the Union of the United States and existed for only four years. Jonesboro, Tennessee, 1784 Greenville, Tennessee, 1785 State of Muskogee The state of Muskogee was a short-lived Native American state in Florida, created by the Englishman William Augustus Bowles, who was its director general, author of its constitution and designer of its flag. It consisted of several tribes of Creeks and Seminoles. It existed from 1799 to 1803. It had one capital, Miccosukee, 1799 to 1803. Topic. Republic of West Florida The Republic of West Florida was a short-lived republic involving the area known today as Louisiana's Florida parishes—at the time the westernmost portion of Spanish West Florida. The area was soon seized by the United States under President James Madison and incorporated into the territory of Orleans. None of the Republic of West Florida was within the boundaries of modern Florida. St. Francisville, Louisiana, 1810 Topic. Republic of Indian Stream The Republic of Indian Stream was an unrecognized independent nation within the present state of New Hampshire. Pittsburgh, New Hampshire, 1832–1835 
Topic: California Republic. Before being annexed by the United States in 1848 following the Mexican-American War, a small portion of north-central California declared itself the California Republic, in an act of independence from Mexico, in 1846 see Bear Flag Revolt. The Republic only existed a month before it disbanded itself, to join the advancing American army and therefore became part of the United States. The very short-lived California Republic was never recognized by the United States, Mexico or any other nation. There was one de facto capital of the California Republic. Sonoma, 1846 <inaudible> <inaudible> Confederate States The Confederate States of America CSA had two capitals during its existence. The first capital was established February 4, 1861, in Montgomery, Alabama, and remained there until it was moved to Richmond, Virginia, on May 29, 1861, after Virginia seceded on May 23. The individual state capitals remained the same in the Confederacy as they had been in the Union USA, although as the advancing Union Army used those cities for military districts, some of the Confederate governments were relocated or moved out of state, traveling along with secessionist armies. Montgomery, February 4, 1861 to May 29, 1861. Richmond, May 29, 1861 to April 3, 1865. Topic: Historical state, colonial, and territorial capitals. Most of the original 13 colonies had their capitals occupied or attacked by the British during the American Revolutionary War. State governments operated where and as they could. The city of New York was occupied by British troops from 1776 to 1783. A similar situation occurred during the War of 1812, during the American Civil War in many Confederate states, and during the Pueblo Revolt of 1680-1692 in New Mexico. Twenty-two state capitals have been a capital longer than their state has been a state, since they served as the capital of a predecessor territory, colony, or republic. Boston, Massachusetts, has been a capital city since 1630, it is the oldest continuously running capital in the United States. Santa Fe, New Mexico, is the oldest capital city, having become capital in 1610 and interrupted only by the aforementioned Pueblo Revolt. An even older Spanish city, St. Augustine, Florida, served as a colonial capital from 1565 until about 1820, more than 250 years. The table below includes the following information The state, the year in which statehood was granted, and the state's capital are shown in bold type. Note, for the first 13 states, formerly the 13 colonies of Great Britain on the Atlantic seaboard, the year of statehood is shown as 1776 United States Declaration of Independence rather than the subsequent year each state ratified the 1787 United States Constitution. See list of U.S. states by date of admission to the Union. The year listed for each capital is the starting date, the ending date is the starting date for the successor unless otherwise indicated. In many cases, capital cities of historical jurisdictions were outside of a state's present borders, those cities are generally indicated with the two-letter abbreviation for the U.S. state in which the former administrative capital is now located. Topic. See also Historic regions of the United States History of the Philippines 1898 to 1946 History of the United States Lists of capitals List of US colonial possessions Outline of United States history Political divisions of the United States Territorial evolution of the United States Timeline of country and capital changes Topic. Notes Topic. References Topic. Further reading Christian Montes. American Capitals, A Historical Geography University of Chicago Press, 2014 394 pages, scholarly study of geographic and other factors that have shaped the designation of capitals in all 50 states Topic. External links 
Florida Facts, The Capital The Capitalization of Georgia The State Houses of Louisiana Las Vegas, Nevada's next state capital New Hampshire Senate for Kids, Capitals Handbook of Texas Online, Capitals Colonial Capitals of the Dominion of Virginia Utah History to Go, Utah's Capitals <laughs>